A pub landlord handed a vile note saying death to Allah to an Arab couple after he got fed up on a flight. The victims were terrified after being given a scrawled message by Joseph Breslin as the flight from Doha landed at Heathrow, a court heard. The 36-year-old also defaced an armrest on the Qatar Airways flight as he returned with his wife from the couple's honeymoon in July. Alworth Crown Court heard Breslin was in a foul mood because he was not satisfied with the service when he targeted couple Munira al Ghattari and Salem Omar Shamlam. The note, which included an ethnic slur, had to be translated for them when they landed on July 8. Breslin admitted two charges of racial and religious aggravated harassment and one of religiously aggravated criminal damage but avoided a jail sentence. Instead he was handed a community order with 160 hours of unpaid work and ordered to pay and pound, 2,604 for the damage to the seat and and pound, 300 in prosecution costs. Passing sentence Mr. Recorder Bruce Holder QC said, you had, according to the evidence provided by the Crown, been complaining in the earlier part of that flight about the service, and your mood was not good. And as the aircraft landed, and was coming to a standstill at Heathrow, it was noticed that you had scribbled something on the armrest of the seat. The words simply said death to Allah. Before that aircraft came to a halt, you were disobeying the seat belt sign, which was still illuminated. You got up, walked around to other passengers who, you complained, had in some way given you offense, and put a piece of paper on the table between them. Fortunately, English wasn't their first language. It is difficult to think of a phrase, particularly these days, more offensive and potentially inflammatory as those words. Coming, as they did, from a grown man who should know better. But he said he could spare Breslin jail because of his good character and added, I have no doubt that you have been of immense benefit to your local community. I accept too that you are remorseful. It is clear that you had just got married, you were bringing your wife back to the country. She was pregnant. Your business was under strain. And that was something that was very much on your mind. And you had recently given up smoking. For a number of other reasons, you were under considerable stress. Breslin, who ran a pub in South London, was spotted by a flight attendant scrawling on the armrest five minutes before the plane was due to land. Ravinder Johal, prosecuting, said they examined the seat, and saw the words which left them shocked at what was written. Mr. Johal continued, when the police arrived with an Arabic interpreter, they translated what was actually on the note. They were worried that something was going on. The wife was pretty stressed. She didn't know if they were safe or not. Summarizing the victim impact statements, Mr. Johal said, she said I was very frightened and terrified. He felt worried, disturbed and terrified. Mr. Johal added, it was clearly provocative, and designed to elicit a response from these two Arabic complainants. The criminal damage to the armrest was in pound, 983, but the airline lost a further in pound, 2621 as the seat had to be cleaned. In mitigation Jeremy Wainwright said his client of Bromley, South East London was a pillar of the community. He has since lost his personal license to sell alcohol and his marriage has come under severe strain. Mr Wainwright said Breslin had been extremely offensive, and had undoubtedly caused those two people distress. He added, Mr Breslin doesn't seek to shy away from that in any way. He added his client was under extreme stress and accepted he had overreacted to what he perceived to be people acting in a way that upset him.